Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a space station around the planet Dres. And thanks to everyone for their submission of the actual name of the station. It's a fairly logical name that everyone has chosen. The Dres station will be the name. So I was thinking maybe Ringwa, Ring Station or something like that, but Dres Station works pretty, pretty normal. So the design here is going to be the core of the station itself. And so that's why I have a kind of circular shape. And I do intend to keep to keep adding to the space station, but that's going to be limited by performance. So we'll see how we go there. We'll just keep adding until we the game can no longer handle it. So I, I wonder at which point that will be. Now, the reason why I'm doing a station is because, you know, an interstellar ship is something that has to move and a lot of parts have to move. Whilst in this case, the space station, of course, would be static. So I'm hoping that that will enable us to build something larger than what we would with an uh, interplanetary ship of some sort. Uh, so yeah, as I said, the core, this will be the core. And the next episode, we will have the, I guess, the, the front part or the top part. And that will be perhaps kind of like a solar panel generating kind of area. The core here, though, is mainly around the crew. So we have obviously a lot of we'll have a lot of Kerbals in there and the lights will look it will look nice and uh, alive. I was thinking that maybe we can have another circular kind of shape as well. Something bigger at a later point. I'll have to carefully consider that. But we also definitely want to have an area maybe for ships to dock. But then again, that depends on performance. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, slowly, slowly. I think, you know, things will get a little bit laggy. But hey, we'll do what we can. And you can just see the way I've designed things here. I've carefully placed every single part. You know, I didn't really want to have anything just plain looking. I wanted a bit of variety, some unique textures. Originally, I was thinking that maybe we can use the color red or blue, but I think that silver with a little bit of white looks the best for the station. Now, do keep in mind, it looks silver now, but when you're far away, maybe in dress or anywhere in space, it doesn't really look as silver anymore. It's kind of like a darker silver, you know, because there's not as much light and stuff. So you don't really need to color things black that much because silver becomes somewhat black uh, in space. So that's fine. This is going to have some bit of darkness to it. But of course, you know, dress is a little bit further away from the from the Kerbal sun. So we'll see how it looks in the end. And well, this is just the overall design. You can see there I decided to have like these, I guess, cockpits or capsules, whatever you call them, kind of like on top of each other. And it looks like... You could say like a viewing kind of deck. It's uh, an interesting kind of shape. I don't know what it reminds me of, but I thought it looks kind of cool. And at this point, we're just designing the actual launcher. So the very thing that's going to take us to dress. Now, I need to make it clear as well. We're actually going to go and set this, or we'll try to set this within Dress's planetary ring. Because I think that's one of the coolest things about KSP2 is that ring. And I know it's like a minor thing, but it looks great when you look at it online. So we'll we'll try and get that close, as close as possible, uh, but we'll see how that goes. So this is the very first attempt of launching this craft. And it was swaying a little bit initially. I think the, the center of mass and center of thrust is a little bit of an issue. And I was also testing out the lights just then. That's why there was a little flash. But I think, yeah, the lighting system is pretty darn cool. And at this point, it's starting to tilt. And I don't know, it's it's pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh, yeah, it's terrible how it happens at the very last minute. Like, come on, we're, we're almost in space and it just fails midway. Come on. Well, and I was hoping that maybe things were, I guess together and we could still launch again but you could see that there was like a aerodynamic part that was completely broken so i decided to reset and try again and on my second go it seemed like it was going a bit better but it was yeah it started to turn again so not the most optimal kind of build but at least it actually did end up working in the end Slowly, slowly, we relied on the actual gimbals from the all those engines there, and that did stabilize us. I also had 
a little bit of RCS, I think, but it seemed pretty darn useless. Yeah, those RCS thrusters are just not very good. I feel like they're incredibly wasteful. Maybe I've got to use a different kind of thruster because I think there's two other variations. So you can see how it looks from space. It looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of that interstellar ship from a distance, although it's completely different from that. Still, it's kind of nice to see. And yeah, overall, I think the build is nice for the core. I'm looking forward to building all the other parts. Um, please leave your suggestions and any thoughts you may have as to what we could build. I'll happily take that on board. I was thinking maybe we could also have a small, kind of like a drone sort of ship. For Maybe a Kerbal can sit on the small ship and that ship would be used for... I guess moving fuel tanks and stuff right because you know this is meant to be a station and technically you know we're gonna have visitors and so you need to be able to move resources here and there so I don't know I'm trying to make this a little bit of a practical thing although it's not really practical because there's nothing really in game for that still here we are we are pretty much almost at dress this is like this is always a scary moment because when you time up too fast, and I, this has happened already many times, you can literally just zoom past the planet and your entire maneuver goes straight down the bin. So I, I did actually do this once for dress and I, ha I had to actually reset or reload, sorry. So that wasn't very good. And you can see here, our speed is quite high, but we're actually somewhat low on fuel. Initially, I did check the Delta V and it seemed like we had enough fuel to land on dress. So maybe the initial launch was wasteful and as a result that's caused a few issues here. I also did a little bit of a mistake where I went to Duna by accident. I'm not even going to explain what happened. We went to Duna. Don't know. Um, you can have a guess as to why I went to Duna with this thing, but <laughs> that's pretty silly. So here we are. Uh, I will continue again to make this as much as possible. We will keep adding to it. It's going to be awesome. It's probably going to be the biggest station in KSP2 there is. So, I mean, look, my computer is going to be a nice heater. It's quite cold over here now. So it's going to be fulfilling its purpose and the game's going to help me. So there we go. Just having a nice little view of dress. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't get close enough to the actual planetary ring because of the fuel shortage there. I mean, no fuel. But you can kind of see the ring kind of like a dark outline. I think it's a bug at the moment. So, uh, anyway, next episode, we're going to dock to this and then take it exactly where we want in the ring. So, look forward to that. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See ya.